Hi ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves really well today in another video. Okay, so um, in this video, this video in, in particular will be for ladies, okay? Because um, uh, I kind of made a very similar video a long time ago, but I feel like I need to talk a little bit more about this because this topic is really important, you know? And um, really, you know, human beings never do anything without some kind of a reason behind it. Uh, and more often than not, they don't consciously understand the things that they're doing. So they can be doing something and it's not, uh, you know, necessarily good for them, right? But, um, yeah, like I said, they don't understand the unconscious reason behind the things that they're doing sometimes, okay? So, um, they think, and the more often than not, they think the reason is one thing, when really it's, it's completely different underneath, you know? So, uh, I wanted to discuss this, actually, okay? So, um, in this regard, men are lucky, okay? M men are very lucky because they don't have to, you know, when they get up in the morning, right? All they have to do is maybe like wash their face or something, right? So they have to wash their face and that's it, right? They can just go um, with a bare face, right? They can go out into the world, they can face the day with a bare face and it's beautiful, they don't need makeup, right? Although, of course, nowadays, <laughs> even that is like changing, right? And so, uh, you know, we're living in, in interesting times, right? But uh, for the most part, okay, the majority of men do not use makeup and... And that's great, okay? It's great because uh, women, as women, we can see them. <laughs> we can see them without makeup, right? We can see their real beauty, right? For guys, it's not so easy, okay? And, and uh, it's interesting because uh, even women of God, they, um, you know, they tend to use a lot of makeup, I noticed. You know, I've, I've watched a lot of videos and uh, their message is, is is amazing it's great you know and i follow a lot of women like this you know and, and but i noticed that a lot of them use makeup you know and so um i think this it's there's still this um what's happening here right is like a lot of them are still very much programmed to do that right maybe they've gotten into uh yeah i noticed that in the comment section sometimes they're judged and very harshly like, they're judged very harshly for using makeup in their videos, right? And so, uh, I wanted to discuss makeup, okay? Makeup for women and why we shouldn't use makeup as women, okay? And um, there's a more sinister reason on why you actually, you're using makeup. A lot of us don't understand when we use makeup, we don't understand what we're actually doing. Yeah, okay, you might think I'm gonna look prettier, right? I'm gonna make myself prettier. But... What is the reasoning on why you're putting makeup on? Like, what what are you trying to accomplish, you know? You have to ask yourself this, right? What are you trying to accomplish when you're using makeup? Because um, I will tell you what, what it means to, to use makeup and what it actually uh, tells the world about you or tells men or even signals the opposite sex. Okay, so first of all, right? So using makeup, ladies, right? There's a form of like... Um, it's a form of manipulation and lying, okay? So when you do use makeup, right, and a lot of ladies I've noticed, they, they use a lot of makeup, a lot, right? It's not just a little, right, but it's a lot of makeup. Like, they use eyeliners, they use, uh, you know, uh, they use lipstick, they use blush, they use foundation, right? So before you know it, like, you you are, uh, you have a completely different face on, you know? And I've, I've watched a couple of makeup tutorials just to just to, uh, like, out of curiosity, right, and, and, uh, a lot of them literally just, just, like, makeup literally changes your entire face, you know, it can change the symmetry of, of your face, right, which is a huge lie, basically, right, you're signaling to the world, and I will explain everything, right, I will explain what, what e each area of the face that you're changing, uh, actually signals to, to the opposite sex, for the most part, right, and so we will discuss this right in this video but anyway so guys like um it's it's a form of manipulation it's lying okay it's lying it's um and also not only are you lying to yourself you're lying to others right so uh, you're um you're basically putting on a mask to to the outside world right 
while in actuality you actually have a completely different face, right? Because makeup does uh, change your face around and makes others perceive you in a different way, right? More often than not, that perception is not really what you're looking for, especially if you're a godly woman, right? If you're just looking to to get laid, you know, maybe, or to just, like, hook up with someone, right? Which is, of course, you can do your own thing, right? Like, if that's what you want, it's, it's okay, you know? It's uh, it's ultimately up to you, right? So if that's what you're looking to accomplish, then, then okay, go for it, you know? Maybe makeup is, is, you know, in this case, maybe makeup will, like, you know, will, will help you, right? Uh, and will even... Uh, be very effective okay but if you're a godly woman right and maybe you're looking to find and attract a godly man right then you want to uh put your best foot forward out there and you want to present yourself in a true light right you want to you don't want to put on a show you don't want to pre present a, a facade you don't want to come off as something that you're not right and so you want to uh, present yourself in a, from a good base or a good foundation instead of a faulty foundation right off the bat, right? Uh, so you don't want to present a fake in image of yourself. And that includes, you know, maybe the way that you dress, uh, you know. I I've actually I've heard this before from guys, you know, they're like, why do women, you know... Uh, why do women put on like makeup and like in, in high heels, right, and beautiful dresses and then like once you get to know them they start wearing, you know, pajamas outside and, <laughs> and like, you know, and, like slippers, right, <laughs> like basically they're completely different, you know, and so, uh, <laughs> and yeah, that can happen too, right, and so that's a lie, right? Like, the woman was just, like, trying to, like, hook you in, right? She she, she tried to hook you in, which... And she, she sold a lie to, to the guy, right? And so that's really unfair. And so that's another reason, right? Like, like you want to... If you want to attract real and someone who is good for you, someone who is going to be healthy for you, someone who is going to... Uh, love you for you, right? You don't want to put any makeup on. You want to show him your your innocence, right? Because guys, ladies, um, you without makeup is innocent. It's innocent. It's not sexy. It's not. I mean, in the in a sense, look, in a sense, innocence is sexy. Okay, as crazy as this sounds, it's not just. It's not sexy, but it's but it's attractive. It's attractive. We're as human beings, we're attracted to innocence you know and and uh that that innocence is beautiful ladies right and and when you're not wearing makeup you are innocent you're you're uh you're bare you're showing your vulnerability in a sense right and uh you're showing yourself to the world the way that god has uh, made you right and you're not changing anything around there's no peacocking going on there's no sexualization object object uh, i can <laughs> i can't say this word the objectification right so you're not objectifying yourself right uh to the opposite sex you're not selling yourself as this doll as the sex toy to be used right because guys i will discuss what you're signaling to the opposite sex when you do actually wear makeup okay so let's let's get into the details of this right first of all long eyelashes right so let's discuss the uh, long eyelashes. Why do we have them? Why do we need them? Why do we use them? Ladies use them to open up their eyes, okay? And uh, bigger eyes are, uh, they signal, um, they're more attractive to the opposite sex because they signal like youth and they also, uh, a, a bigger eyed females tend to have, I think, a higher estrogen level, okay? so. Uh, they tend to be more fertile, okay? So, um, then also, right, um, longer eyelashes can uh, signal youth also because as you uh, get older, your eyelashes, uh, they start getting shorter, okay? So, this can signal youth as well, okay? Um, although two, uh, eyelashes that are too long, right, they can signal disease too, which is interesting, okay? 
So there's that, right? So why do uh, women wear, uh, wear lipstick, right? Or color their uh, lips, right? Well, first of all, um, uh, like glossy or red lips, right? Um, they also signal sexual readiness, right? Basically, so and also it uh, unconsciously sends a signal into his brain that like like gloss right is like that she's like wet down there okay so there's that right but the red lips right as someone is sexually aroused right they uh, their lips get redder and fuller okay and so that's like an unconscious way of of uh or a conscious way <laughs> of uh, sending a signal to the opposite sex saying that you're ready for you know that right for the deed and so there's that right mm. also fuller lips right why do we contour our lips fuller lips tend to be a representation of or tend to signal to the opposite sex that you have more estrogen okay and more estrogen means that you're a feminine you're more fertile right so it's easier to have children with you okay so there's that right there's the facial contouring right why do we want uh why do we want to contour our face well the reason why women do, do this right is because uh, face facial symmetry signals once again your health okay your teeth right uh if your teeth are white and straight that also signals that you've got good health okay and so um you know um, same applies to things like foundation, right? Like, why would you want to cover uh, your face with the foundation, right? Well, well, a lot of the times, right, good skin is also a signal, a signal of your health, okay? So, like, teenagers go through different phases, right? Like, when you're a teen, a lot of us have gotten pimples, right? The reason being is because your hormones are changing, right? And so, that happens again when you're, like, uh, when you uh, have ma ma menopause, right? And so your uh, body goes through different changes and so your hormones change too and this can o uh, often uh, uh, you know this can present on your face basically right you will see like pimples right and so that shows like hormonal disbalances more often than not okay so that's why uh, clear skin is so attractive too is because it kind of shows that your your hormones are balanced okay and that's attractive right because it signifies good health right and good health means that once again you can reproduce you can you're um, a better mate basically okay you're more likely to have children that are healthy too okay so uh there's that right and so um uh, yeah once again blush right if you're using blush same thing, flushed cheeks, right? Flushed cheeks. Why do we have flushed cheeks? When do we have it? Sexual arousal, okay? When you're sexually aroused, your cheeks flush, okay? And so, once again, and also, 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 I just forgot to mention, right? Uh, good thing I remember it, actually, right? But, like, um, a, a flushed che cheeks, right? They, uh, they also signal... Uh, to the opposite sex that you're ovulating okay and so uh, at certain times in our cycle women tend to uh, be much more likely to get pregnant right and so there's like a small window right uh, uh, each month when that can happen and so usually it's like before your period I think or like a little bit after okay so that's when you uh, your body experiences certain changes okay so and males unconsciously they pick up on this okay in fact males can even smell when a female is more fertile okay it's really strange uh and when she's aroused too okay males can smell uh sexual ar arousal okay which is crazy but it does happen okay um there there was a study done right and they tested like um like, no, wait, yeah, 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 was it done with, um, was it done with, uh, female arousal, no, 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 sorry, that was a different study, okay, but anyways, the smell was like, uh, to check when, uh, the female was ovulating, right, and so, when the female was ovulating, right, uh, the males that smelled, uh, 
uh, girls t-shirts, right? They found the ones that were ovulating like more attractive. Okay, so yes, uh, you smell different basically <laughs> when you're ovulating and that attracts more more um, male, atten male attention to you, I guess, I suppose, right? Uh, as males can pick up on that, okay? So yeah, um, but anyway, so ladies, you know, just don't... Um, be careful, you know, how you present yourself, okay? Once again, right? So if you are looking um, for... If you are looking for a decent guy, if you want someone to like you for who you are, right? Don't present, don't start out um, any relationship with a faulty foundation, and that includes wearing makeup, you know? Um, also, of course, wearing makeup has a lot to do with uh, your self-esteem, you know? Like, it, it has a lot to do with how you feel about yourself, right? And self-love, and so, of course, I understand that, you know, it's... it's uh, First of all, of course, wearing makeup can become a habit, right? You've just gotten into a habit, right? And so it's hard to break, right? Once again, if you do wear, if you're used to wearing a lot of makeup and then suddenly you start, you stop wearing it, right? And you, uh, you don't wear as much anymore, right? You don't feel as attractive. You're looking at yourself in the mirror, right? It's kind of like having a filter, right? And then looking at yourself without a filter, there's a huge difference there, right? And so I recommend if you're used to wearing a lot of makeup, just start slowly, you know, start slowly and remove a little bit, you know, at a time. Maybe stop wearing foundation, right? Your skin will thank you, by the way. You know, I already made a video on makeup, right? And I discussed like various chemicals that go into this makeup and they're extremely toxic. Over time, they can even cause cancer and things like that, you know? So watch out for that too, you know? So uh, once again, right, just remove l bits and pieces, right, of that makeup. Like, first remove the foundation, right, then maybe start wearing uh, less lipstick, you know, then st uh, stop wearing uh, so much uh, eyeshadow or something like that, then remove your eyeliner, you know, uh, and so, so on, right? So just start slowly and just take baby steps, right, and before you know it, you'll get used to your looking at yourself, uh, in your natural beauty, you know, and more often than not, guys, you are beautiful just the way that you are, okay, uh, you don't need makeup, you really don't, you know, look at guys, right, look at men, they don't need makeup, like, we still find them attractive, right, so, um, you know, guys have their own way of, like, attracting themselves, uh, attraction, uh, attracting attention to themselves, right, and that's usually through, um, you know, like wearing different clothing, right? So like colorful clothes and so on, right? And so it's things like that, right? And so you have to just get used to yourself in your natural glory, right? In your natural, uh, with your natural beauty, okay? And, uh, you know, your skin will, will thank you for it too, okay? Trust me, like if you're wearing a lot of foundation now, you're probably clogging your pores, you're causing pimples basically, okay? You're causing your... Uh, you're you're causing your skin to 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 um you know to go bad basically okay and so by not wearing so much makeup right you over time you will see an, a huge improvement in your skin and the way that it looks you know and and how clear it will be okay so that's that's a huge plus right there okay um so ladies, learn to love yourself in your natural glory, in your natural, um, the way that God has made you, you know. Of course, a lot of this will take a lot of inner work on your end, okay. So you have to develop a good relationship with yourself first, right. And so beauty, right, uh, natural beauty will shine through, okay. Your natural beauty sh will shine through, okay. And, and if you want to feel beautiful, you have to do good things, okay. So you have to start... I don't know, keeping your words, right? You have to start keeping your promises. You have to start helping others instead of making fun of them. You have to stop the gossip, right? You have to uh, learn how to be a good and decent person, okay? And then you will feel beautiful, okay? When you feel beautiful, it doesn't really matter how you look like on the outside. Trust me, it doesn't, okay? Uh, when you feel when you're feeling beautiful on the inside you will just you will first of all this will project right your inner beauty will project you will your light will shine okay 
And so this will be, be your true glow up. I know they're using these terms like glow up, right? But really glow up, glowing up is, uh, you know, it's, it's all about going within, doing the inner work, right? It's not about the makeup. It's not really about you know how you look on the outside right it's really it's it's really all about doing the inner work healing right it's it's becoming a better person and then your light will shine shine right from within and you will you will naturally glow up okay so so this is the best glow up to have in my opinion you know and and uh, I know that you know um it, it that it's not easy you know it's not easy to get there right and once again you know with um without makeup right once again it, it might take some time for you to feel comfortable like that okay but really we ladies we don't need makeup okay to feel beautiful we don't okay we we can feel beautiful if we're a good person by being a good person you will feel beautiful on the inside and you will no longer want to like really cover yourself you know you will not no longer want to really change yourself uh externally Okay, um, so there's also that, you know, so it's an inner process, right? Like a lot of us, uh, you know, I think a lot of ladies, they don't feel beautiful on the outside is because the main reason is because, it, because uh, you are not, um, because of your deeds, you know? It's because of your deeds. I think it's because of of uh, maybe you're not, maybe you're using people, maybe you're gossiping, maybe you're not keeping your promises, maybe you're uh, talking bad about others, maybe your uh, your job doesn't reflect who you are. You know, maybe you're 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 uh, selling yourself. Maybe you are um, rude. Maybe you're mean. You're disrespectful, right? And so. Of course, all of this will make you feel very ugly, you know, and uh, no matter what you do, you know, externally after that, a plastic surgery, you know, BBLs, uh, none of that is going to help you feel better about yourself, okay? So that's why it's like an, uh, it's an inner process, okay? And so you have to start from within, okay? You have to start working on all of those things. And of course, you know, not not probably all at once, right? But Surely, but slowly, you will get there, okay? And you will start feeling extremely beautiful and attractive without makeup, okay? So, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and I will see you in another video, okay? Much love to you guys.